Hey guys, it's Caleb with Pave Tool. This week's tip of the week, we're gonna go through getting the base right for our edge of string. One of the number one failures in concrete pavement is not putting in the edge restraint properly or not the proper edge restraint. Much like laying pavers, it's very important to get a good base, obviously nice and level, so your pavers are sit nice and flush. Same applies for our edge restraint. Really important to get a nice level base, and we're gonna show you just how to do that. So as we speak into the importance of getting a perfectly level setting bed for the edge restraint, there's a couple ways to do that. Older method, using a shovel or a trowel to knock that number eight stone or sand down. So you can see here, we're using a trowel to knock that down. It does take a fairly skilled person to do this, to get it perfect. Um, you can see we still have some imperfections, some voids underneath there. What will happen it, over time, soil will get underneath there and pick up the edge restraint. So we used a shovel in this application and it actually turned out much worse. We want to use our sand plow going to be much more efficient and accurate so we're going to jump in get started so adjusting the height of the sand plow here you're normally going to adjust it to the height of your paver so 60 mil if you're working with 60 mil 80 if 80 mil with this application open grade base i do set it to 45 giving me a half inch up we can explain that later we're going to then adjust the handle and the angle where you pull it from you want to be pulling from on top of the patio. You can also adjust the angle of the handle. So depending on your height and what angle you wanna pull at, you can adjust that there. You can see just using those knobs to tighten them up. And then lastly, you can adjust the handle length. You can see there, I'm adjusting it up a little bit and you can see my positioning there. That's generally how you wanna use the sand plow. So you can see standing on the patio, pulling the unit, watching that front edge. If you do get build up of material, you can push it off. And the key is not to go over it more than once. So we're gonna pause right there and we're gonna dive into what I mean by saying you're only gonna hit the edge with the sand plow once. And the reason for that, if you can see that little bit of a void space underneath the pavers, you can see this stone here kind of falling down a little bit. And that's what they call the fee angle. So number eight stone has a fee angle of usually 35 degrees to, to 45 degrees. And again, it can vary a little bit depending on the angular um, parts of the stone and, and exactly which stone you're using, but that's generally what you're looking at. And what happens is, on that paver, you take that stone, say we take an inch of that stone, it's actually gonna take an inch back in. So it creates that angle. So with the sand plow, if you continuously go over that edge, you're removing more stone than you need to. So as that stone kind of falls out here, Right, you keep going through, taking away, taking away, taking away, taking away that stone, you're just undermining these pavers more and more and more and more. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get rotation of the paver and it's gonna fall on the edge. So, with the sand plow, that's what I mean by just moving it that one exact time, just coming along, taking that edge down. And you'll also notice in the beginning of this video, I referred to with 60 mil pavers, I'll actually set the sand plow and the hourglass behind these two dials here to 45 mil. So it's actually bringing that number eight stone up a half inch. So when we're talking about taking one inch here and one inch falling down, we're only ending up taking half an inch and letting half an inch fall down, which is a lot better. You don't have as much material being lost underneath that paver. And let me just kind of show you how that looks. So this image here, you got a little bit of a void space here, some void spaces across this side. This is using the sand plow, knocking it down that half inch. You can see a little bit of that void space still. We're gonna take that, and obviously with the VPR 450, 700 plate compactor, whatever it is, you're gonna vibrate. That number eight stone is gonna fill that void, no problem. If you're a little bit concerned about it, when you're installing the edging, you can also 
which I'll show in the next image here. This is taking the edging and actually shimmying it back and forth, pushing it up in, and you can see how those edges got filled really nicely here. There was no trick photography done in this. This is simply us taking that edging, sliding it back and forth, pushing that number eight stone back in to fill that V angle. So that's why it's just important with the sand plow. Hit it that one time. Don't take more number eight stone than necessary, and you're not gonna have problem with those pavers tilting off. Thanks again for watching this week's tip of the week. You saw how fantastic the sand plow was getting that base nice and level. Edging's gonna fit down flush every time. Thanks again. Please check us out on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as go to pavetool.com.